I'm just aggressive in, in the, my approach of the game, um, who I go against. Um, I feel like whoever is the opposition, I'm going to do my best to, to get in their head, to, to say what I need to say and do what I need to do to, to beat them, to, to win. And I felt like at the time, um, that was a lot of check downs going on. So I had to, I had to let them know that like, not only you throwing check downs, you're doing it over and over again, like you mastered it, like you the king of it. So I had to let them know like you, you can't check down, but I feel like, you know, any way you can get in the quarterback head, that's, that's, that's the best approach to do. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to say whatever uh, and, and mean what you say, basically. Did you think you accomplished that mission when he asked to go in with the two? I, I noticed that. I noticed that. I peeped that. I like that type of energy. He's he's competitive, so am I. You know, um, I felt like that that type of level of competitiveness brings out the best of him, and so is for me. So I, I I appreciate that, and I respect the fact that okay, he wanted to see he wanted to see what I was about. You know, he wanted to go with the second team because I was on the second team. He wanted to see, you know, what I was gonna do. So, um, you know. Much respect to him. Sure. Hey, when you had that uh, groin injury last week, bad time right before really you know, your first preseason game. What, how frustrating was that? What happened? Uh, how did you get the injury? Uh, I was in one on ones, um, going against a great tight end, Zach Ertz, and I just hyperextended my, my my leg and my groin was pulled. Um, it was just, I felt good, but it was just too soon. Um, it, it had happened on Tuesday, the game was on Thursday, and I didn't want to jeopardize my my healthy season, so. Um, you know, as, as a staff, um, a great, great uh, training staff that we have, they wanted me, you know, just, just take it one day at a time and, and be patient. But I should be full go for this Thursday for sure. Say someone that didn't have any preseason games last year. Though, Say it again, I can For someone that didn't have any preseason games last year, it must have been frustrating. Oh, very frustrating. Man, you know, I felt like last year if I would have had a preseason, I probably would have got more playing time, so I can prove myself. You know, I had to prove myself in actual games where it counted, and you know, I couldn't have any mistakes. Um, preseason, it's all about getting better, and I felt like I missed that opportunity last year due to the pandemic. But you know, it was it was a blessing in disguise because now I felt like you know I'm more ready than I ever could be. It seemed like you came back from this injury fairly quick, at least from the the week-to-week -week designation they gave you, did, did you come back faster than you expected? Man, I, I am the Wolverine. I, I heal fast. That's that's what I do. Even um, injuries last year, um, I had uh, injured my shoulder um, versus the Ravens last year. Came back within a week. They said I was going to be out three weeks, four weeks. Came back within a week. So it's just by the blessing of God, you know, um, I, I eat healthy. I am healthy and I heal fast. And you know, I anoint myself every day. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus, so I feel like that's that's one of the main reasons why I heal so fast. Kevin, if you had to pick one guy on the team who's gonna have a big season, who would you Quez, Quez, Quez. I, I see the the fruits of the labor of hard work, and and, and Jalen Hurts as well. Like when I see somebody like that that just grinds and, and and don't talk, just just put their head down and. Staying here, extra hours, catching the ball, throwing the ball, watching film, whatever it may be. But I, I see it everything. I see everything. So uh, I'm very observant. Um, I always learn for, from others. I always learn from the greats and, and see what they do to, to up my game. And I see all the hard work they put in. I know it's going to pay off. They always do. You brought, you brought up uh, Wolverine. And you know, the former Clemson Eagle safety has that nickname too. Dawkins kept in touch with you and giving you any uh, advice? Uh, we, we talk here and there. Um, he's he's like an a, a OG to me. He's a big, big OG to me. Always willing to give me wisdom, but we, we rarely talk ball. You know, we rarely talk ball. It's, it's more, you know, life, spirituality, and, and the mental. What about Rager? What did you see from Jalen? Jalen Rager, having, having a good camp. I just need him to be more consistent. I need him to be who he is and, and that explosive, exciting player. Have you seen him getting more consistent with each pass? Oh, day? definitely. Each each and every day, you know, going against Slay, you, you have no choice but to get better. Going against, you know, Steve, you have no choice but to get better. And I feel like, you know, this for sure, whatever we did last year, I feel like we're going to put the rest uh, with, with the work we're going to put in for this year, for sure. From a personal standpoint, what do you hope to accomplish on Thursday in the game? Uh, I just I just hope to 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 accomplish a win first, because that's, that's the biggest thing. I don't care if it's preseason, I don't care if it's a scrimmage, practice, joint practice, real game, don't matter. I, I, I come out there to win. 
And that's, that's the number one goal. And my personal goals come, come afterwards, you know what I'm saying? So as long as we get the win, I'm gonna be happy regardless. But um, as far, far as me, I just, you know, I just wanna play fast, play, be who I am. Be who I am, I'm a playmaker. I go out there, you can put me in a box, put me deep, anywhere, and I'm gonna go make plays. So that's, 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 that's just my goal, just go out there and play free. We have seen you play in the box and deep during training camp. How comfortable are you with the scheme, you know, moving around, and what stands out to you when you're taking the Each and every day we stacking these days. Uh, I feel more and more comfortable with okay. the play calling, more and more comfortable with um, whatever JG is calling, and just building relationships with my coaches, my teammates, it's helping me play better and faster. Are you looking forward to kind of proving that you can play back? Because I think a lot of people imagine thought of you as kind of a closer to the line box type player. Man, you watch camp. I've been balling back in the middle of the season. You know, I've been getting my hands on balls all camp. So um, I, I feel confident, man. I, I'm healthy. I feel confident. I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm as healthy as I've been. Um, I'm as confident as I've been. You know, I, I got a great system. Um, the teammates, you know, they, we, we, we're a brotherhood, we got unity. So I feel like this is a special year coming for me and, and the team. What was the reaction in the DB room when you guys watched Elijah's pick? Man, we was turned up. We, we, we always turned up on, on big hits, interceptions, PBUs, wherever it is. But, you know, seeing, seeing E get that pick, man, it, it just means that, you know, that hard work going to show. You know, he's one of those guys that, you know, had a – you know, take a back seat. You know, he was an undrafted free agent and, and made the team and played on special teams. So that's what I felt like last year we was missing, seeing, you know, what those guys can do, um, especially me as well, uh, seeing what we can do in those preseason games. And I felt like he went out there and did what he supposed to do, go out there and make some plays.